So today we received some interesting news about the upcoming Sky Wars update. We've known about this update for a little while now. There's been a lot of like update, uh, like kit balance patches that have released over the last few months and stuff like that. And this is all part of one bigger update. And the main guy in charge of this update is called Moto Gorilla. I think he's a relatively new admin. He's been really vocal and really like good at communicating with the community and just letting us know where the updates are at not just for sky wars for like loads of different mini games on the server as well and there was a whole uh thread released about okay about upcoming updates um across the whole server not just sky wars but i think sky wars we got the most information for uh, which is really really cool uh still not a whole lot but probably more than any of the other ones. I think it's really cool how they've been um, like releasing so many updates recently. Like we just got a CVC update, we got a murder mystery update not long before that. And they're even like teasing like build battle updates on the Instagram or just social media in general. And um, I don't know, it's just so cool to see because we're finally, I feel like uh, for a while, especially since like Skyblock came out, Mini games like Sky Wars have sort of just been in like the dark with um, updates. I mean, Sky Wars isn't even the best example. Sky Wars has generally had a lot of updates um, compared to some games like Murder Mystery and Cops vs. Crimson, you know? Like, those games really get left in the dark most of the time. So it's just really cool to see uh, these games all getting like active updates and. I think it's a good way to to sort of start reviving the minigame scene on Hypixel. I don't know if it will... I mean, it's been on a pretty steady decline for a while, but you never know. Maybe we'll see some change here. So as you can see, there are two screenshots that we were given in this uh, update thread, which shows Kit Prestige and uh, Schemes. Now, Schemes are going to be a new cosmetic. Um, not really new. They're just kind of expanded. Like, Schemes basically are... Um, prestige colors so the color of your star as you can see mine is 85 star which is like sapphire with the white brackets i assume this is now going to be like a cosmetic that you can just pick so every time you prestige you'll unlock a new scheme and by the looks of it you can get these schemes from prestiging kits as well and maybe there'll be some that you can just purchase in the shop you know they could really like they could add these to like anything you know it's not it's not limited to just um what we can see in these screenshots and what we already have it could be you know added to angel's descent and stuff like that as well which i think would be really cool and um it's really exciting. I'm losing this fight big time. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god. What? That wasn't very fair. I'm not gonna lie. The scheme that they've shown off in the screenshots on this update thread here. It's a Prestige 7 for Cryomancer, which requires 75,000 XP to get, which is a lot of XP. If you're getting a, a kit to Prestige 7, it means you're gaining about 7.5 Skywars stars with just that kit. Um... I think it's safe to assume that the XP for prestiging is just Skywars XP unless they're adding a separate kit XP thing, which I doubt. I just doubt that's going to be the case. I'm sure it's going to be Skywars XP. It would make the most sense. 75,000 is a lot though. But it's also expected for this update to include uh, changes to XP gain or specifically changes to level gain. I believe it's expected that um, stars will be halved in the XP requirement to level up. So rather than it being 10k XP, it'll be 5k. Oh, that guy died. Oh, he's, he's toxic as well. He's a 22 star being toxic. But this scheme, I think it's really interesting because this scheme is like a pink, blue, green uh, gradient. And I wonder if these schemes like from the kits are going to be like related to the kit. Like imagine like an Endlord, uh, Prestige 7 Endlord scheme looking like, like, uh, like a pink, purple, black or pink, purple, gray, like gradient. That would look so cool. And I, I really hope we get something along those lines. I hope the... Um, the, the the prestige kit schemes uh kind of correlate to what the kit is like frog could have a pretty cool like green gradient going on i think there's um there's a lot of potential there they, they can really like you know be creative with that and and in the preview for that scheme uh Moto gorilla is 244 star which you know again kind of reaffirms the whole idea that they're probably gonna make levels a lot easier to get maybe he's just done that for the sake of like you know an example like a hypothetical just like to showcase what it looks like or maybe like that's actually like realistic to what um a level might look like with that that scheme and and you know but who knows there's no way to tell until the update comes out or until we get some more information but uh this guy's both summon like crazy so i'm gonna gap up right here and then going for the combo nice there we go let's get some blocks up there there we nice okay nice good job Another thing that's really interesting about the screenshot is that it says cryomancer, but then normal in brackets. So this implies that we're going to have separate like 
prestiges for different modes, which makes sense because the kits are different per mode. So like, you know, maybe one kit would be harder to prestige to win as many games with uh, in normal as it would be in insane. So I think that's a pretty cool thing, but it's just going to mean there's so much more grinding if you want to like actually like prestige like all of the kits, which I don't know, that's probably not really a, a possibility if that 75,000 XP is going to be as hard as I'm expecting it to be. But we'll have to just wait and see. Oh, he's still that cool. And I do wonder if like the kits will have the same rewards based on if it's normal or insane. I'd imagine they'd have the same. I don't know, especially like the, the schemes and stuff, but maybe they'll have like different schemes. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool if it was different though. It would be pretty cool if it was different because like you could tell like based on someone's scheme if they've prestiged the in normal or insane. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool to have a bit of variety, but we'll see. Another thing um, from the screenshot is uh, not just the schemes, but also just more cosmetics in general. A rainbow particle trail, it says, for the for the Cryomancer Prestige 7, which is interesting because particle trail, I don't know if it's just a typo or like it's got a little disclaimer beneath the screenshot saying that they're highly subject to change. So maybe this does just mean projectile trail, but Particle trail, like they're called projectile trails, right? Not particle trails. Maybe I'm reading too far into it because, you know, it's just meant to be projectile trail. Am I dead here? No, there's no way. I wasn't even like paying attention. This guy's like trying really hard to kill me. And I'm like, I'm like barely paying attention. That was a good fight though. But I don't know what else a particle trail could be. So I'm pretty sure I am just reading too far into that and it is just supposed to be projectile trail. One thing that I was concerned about with the idea of kit prestiges is that it would follow the same kind of approach as like Blitz where the kit gets better as you prestige it. This is not something that I'd want because the more you make a game play to win, the harder it's gonna be for new players to get into it. And that's what we need right now. We need something um, to get new players back into Skywars. I think a lot of people believe that, you know, Skywars is just beyond revival. And I really don't know if if I agree with that, but that's that's a conversation for another day, really. That's, that is what we need though. We, do, we need something to bring new players back to the game. And if the kit prestiges, buff to the kits that would achieve the complete opposite no way he died to that that's actually crazy that was a crazy tnt from this guy this guy's kind of popping oh i was gonna say he's kind of popping off that's a shame that is unfortunate that, that is unlucky but yeah based on the example that we've got it looks like the kit prestiges will not buff the actual kits uh which is i'm really happy about but yeah, oh my god, what just happened? When it comes to the XP requirement for uh, a kit prestige, I do wonder like if the um, the XP gain is actually gonna be made easier or if it's just gonna be a matter of like one level costs 5k XP now. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, I wonder if like they're actually gonna make XP gain easier, like 20 XP per win or like, like if they doubled XP gain, so like you got like 20 XP per win and two per kill, for example, like that would achieve the same thing as reducing the requirement to level up from 10K to 5K, right? So it all depends on how they uh, change XP gain as to how difficult, what? All right. What am I trying to say? Depending on how they change XP gain, if they do at all, we'll kind of decide how difficult it's actually gonna be to reach Prestige 7 for a kit. Oh, he's gonna get one hit. Oh, I'll kill this guy first. There we go. Did he die? Oh, he's there. Hey, man. <laughs> but overall, I'm really excited for this change. It'll be really interesting to see what kits people go to Prestige first. I wonder how they're gonna, like, decide what kits get what projectiles. Like, Cryomancer getting Rainbow Projectile Trail doesn't really make any sense to me. Like, it doesn't, like, link to Cryomancer at all. But maybe Rainbow Projectile Trail will be there for every Prestige 7, for every kit. I wouldn't be a fan of that if it was, like, Rainbow Projectile Trail was achieved at every single uh, level 7 Prestige. I would like it to be different for every kit. I think that would really be fun and it would it would encourage people to play different kits a lot more like what's a kit that i would never play like i would never play sloth of course because <laughs> sloth's just a debuff it would be really funny if they give sloth like really good rewards but like things like pig rider that aren't necessarily bad kits at least in insane mode i don't know if it's any good in normal but like pharaoh you know kits like that that just like they're not necessarily like awful like they're not gonna you know debuff you like sloth does but they're just not, you know, they're not like meta really. And I think encouraging people to play other kits to unlock cosmetics is gonna change the meta a bit. And it's gonna make people, you know, you're gonna see a lot more people playing different kits because they're going for these cosmetics. And I do think, I do think that's a good idea. I think that's really cool. So if certain kits do have like different cosmetics, people are gonna go for those cosmetics specifically. And you know, they're not gonna 
stick to the main kit. But I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling like crazy because like, I just, I don't know, there's so much speculation going on in my head. But I'm really excited for this because um, I think I'll definitely return back to playing actively to press each kit once this update drops. And I hope a lot of people feel the same because it really has got me excited to get back into the game. Because every time I play the game now, you know, like when every time I stream the game or something, like I just don't have any goals. I don't have anything to go for, you know, like I don't really care about any of the prestiges ahead of 85 and... Like, maybe, you know, like, 150 would be cool, but, like, I'm not going to play for 150. That's, like, double my star or something like that, or just under double, you know? And it's... I don't want to do that. Like, it's too much grinding. I don't care that much about getting 150 star. And if the process isn't enjoyable, then what's the point, right? Like, you should be able to enjoy the process if you're going to go for a goal. And, um... I, I just I just wouldn't if I was going for like a high star just for the prestige. But I think prestige and kits, you know, it would be really fun and it would allow me to play different kits and actually enjoy playing different kits. I've been like messing around doing the Cochlea challenge where you have to win uh, with every single kit in a row. Um, which is very difficult and I'm pretty sure it's impossible just because it requires getting a 46 win streak, which is already impossible. Uh, for me anyway, like I'm, I don't know, I'm just not good enough at the game these days, but I don't know, I've just been trying to give myself little goals like that, just, just things to make the game enjoyable. Because even though I know I can like never reach the end of that challenge, it is fun. It changes the game a bit. It makes it a bit more interesting playing different kits and, and stuff like that. So I think that's something that, uh, you know, Skywars will really benefit from. I wonder if they'll use this as an opportunity to bring back rank rewards. Now, realistically, is that a good idea? I don't know. I've always been of the opinion that they should just make rank rewards purchasable again. I think they should just add... This guy just told me where this guy is, by the way. He, he totally just sold this guy out. That's really funny. But yeah, I've always been of the opinion that they should just add rank rewards back to the shop and um, stop, like, hiding it. Because I think, like, you know, they wanted to remove ranked because of, like, a big reason why they removed ranked is because it was so, like, you know, people sold their accounts because they had cosmetics and stuff, and they wanted to put an end to that. And, which is, of course, you know, a very good reason to get rid of the game. But I think making those rewards unobtainable gives them value, right? Like, they have even more value now than they did when the game was still around, because now you can't get it anymore. If you've got these ranked rewards, your account's really rare, you know? So I think they should, if they want to remove the value from ranked rewards, they should just add them back to the shop, and that's... I think that's the way to go, in my opinion. But um, I think this could be a good opportunity to do that. I do doubt that they'll do that. Honestly, I don't I don't see it happening. I don't think I can shoot through them, look at all. Alright, let's kill this guy. There we go, that's a dub. But yeah, I don't see that happening. I just think it is a possibility. I think it would be interesting to see. Because, I don't know, I feel like they can't just never acknowledge ranked rewards again. Like, Dragon Rider is a pretty iconic victory dance across all of Hypixel, not just Skywars, you know? And it would be weird. It just feels weird that that's unobtainable now for Skywars, you know? I just, I just I'm interested in what they're actually planning with that. Uh, so let me know what you guys think, though. Oh, shit, I die to that guy? That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're looking forward to the kit prestiges. Let me know if you're looking forward to the different kind of prestige schemes. And let me know what kind of prestige schemes you'd like to see. If you made it this far, comment Gorilla. I know I rambled a lot in this video, but I think I got all my points across that I want to talk about. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.